Hello everybody, welcome to my coffee break. I'm going to be trying a new coffee from Highbrew Coffee. Uh, they make, they're from Austin and it turns out they, they made a smart coffee. And you can probably tell the, the label, parts of the label is green so it's picking up my green screen. See, <laughs> So this one is a milk Oak milk latte, high brew coffee, and this one is coconut mocha. And I didn't realize that it has some ingredients that, I mean, oak milk is okay. I mean, sometimes I tried uh, different coffees and they have oak milk, and, and it's it's okay. MTC oil, I'm not I'm not really uh, that that fond of supposed to be good for your brain and so maybe we'll uh, like this because we need something for our brain right uh, it says um city outline is a brain health a a ingredient that provides a nutritional support for attention focus and alertness um, this last video I made <laughs> Uh, just just a few minutes ago because I, I really didn't enjoy the Vietnamese ice coffee that I got uh, that I reviewed so I said I still need more coffee <laughs> so I thought I decided I went to try this high brew is a coffee roaster in Austin Texas and they put out this new product there's different flavors this one is a uh, uh, coconut mocha and the other one is an espresso one and then the other is I already forgot what it is but there's a third one so I bought three of them and so we're gonna try these this one has um, one gram of sugar it says but it has seven grams of uh, sugar alcohol so I don't know what that exactly is well let's uh, give this a try it says gluten free of course but it says on here it has um homogenized whole oak flour and soybean oil coconut powder uh, medium chain cholesterols which is mtc so i don't know well, let's give this a try and see what it tastes like. Uh, I I like high brew coffee because the, the coffees are, are really good. But this one is something else that they're trying. It says it says on here, I don't know if you can see that. Brain power. So let's get some brain power and get some focus. Let's focus. <laughs> so uh, let's uh, see how this goes. Open this up. It has a little like a safety seal. And I don't have nails, so I can't uh, let's see if we can get this open. It's going to take me like a minute to get this open, sorry. I don't want to use my tea. I can use my tea. I should have thought of this before I can. Oh. Let's see if I can just, no. I'll get it. Give me a second. Bear with me. There it is. There it is. We got it. It says, it says focus and memory. So maybe this, the only thing is it has memory. So I'll remember that Vietnamese iced coffee that I just tried that didn't really taste like a Vietnamese iced coffee. So, so let's open it up. There you go. There's another seal we had to get through. All right, they really want to make sure this is safety, safety sealed. All right, this one's a little bit easier than that last one. Well, I'm going to close it up and shake it again. Hope everybody's doing well today. I uh, thought I'd redo the video. Um, you watched the last video. And you come back and you say, Ken, you had the same shirt on you had in the last video because I just wanted to try this one because I didn't get 
I didn't uh, like the other coffee, so we're going to try it. Let's see. This has oat milk latte, and it's really dark. It's, it's darker than that the other one I had. Look at that. That looks really dark. Good, good mocha. Smells good. This, uh, they say they use direct trade coffee, um, brewed over time, not heated. That's their kind of, that's their slogan. Uh, they put that on all their co-brew coffees. Yeah. So we're, we're going to try it. It doesn't say how much caffeine it has. It just says zero grams of sugar, which it said seven grams of alcohol sugar, whatever that means. So here we go. We're going to try this. Oh yeah, you can taste, you can taste the MTC oil, <laughs> but I mean, it doesn't really taste, I would have to say, it really doesn't taste that bad. Uh, you can really taste the oat milk. Um, some people uh, use that as a milk alternative when they go get a latte, uh, they'll ask for oat milk. Uh, for myself, I really like uh, coconut milk as a alternative. Some places have it and some places don't. Uh, and then sometimes too, they charge you a little extra if you want, you don't want whole milk, you want something else, so they'll charge you a little extra, which is okay. I mean, because probably oat milk and, and coconut milk are a little bit more expensive than um, the whole milk. So, yeah. So. No, I will say this does taste better than the last one I, I tried. I just tried. Yes, yeah, this, this is a smart coffee. Uh, I, I don't know if it'll make me any smarter than I am because I'm not very smart. But, um, yeah. But I mean, I, did, I just say that. If you want to check them out, uh, you can go to High Brew. Highbrewcoffee.com. I I seen their uh, their place when I, I went up to Austin one time. I, I told the story before, but I went up to Austin. I think my son had a doctor's appointment or something. And we drove by Hobrew, but they were closed at the time. I think they probably closed at five o'clock, and it was probably about five thirty. I mean, I didn't know. I I didn't even know I was going to go by by there. I saw it and I go, homebrew coffee, let's go check it out. And so, but they were closed. So, but yeah, I, I do like their other coffees they have. This one is okay. If you're, you know, if you're, uh, you know, if you're into MTC oil and all this other stuff that's on here, it says coffee extract though. It says homebrew coffee. Um, it says cold brew coffee, but it says coffee extract. Well, I don't know. But yeah, this is okay. It's pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I'll drink the rest of this. <laughs> but maybe so. I don't want to waste it. I already wasted half of the other one. So I, I don't want to waste this one. But it's all right. Well, thank you for joining me on my coffee break. I'm trying another coffee I bought. Uh, I get kind of excited when I see new coffees. Um, so I can try here at home, in my home studio. Um, so that way I don't have to go out. And sometimes it, I, I go out and I, I think it's only be an hour or so, but it, Right now, San Antonio, in San Antonio, uh, we're doing a lot of construction, not, not us, not me, but they're doing a lot of construction on the highways and uh, here and uh, making bridges and stuff like that and trying to make the traffic better. Uh, but right now, the traffic is not better. It took me, yesterday, it took me um, about 40 minutes, 45 minutes to get home. And then it normally takes me um, 
15 minutes to get home from work. I only, I live about 15, 20 minutes from work. And last night it took me about 45 minutes to get home. It was crazy because they closed one of the bridges. And so, I, and uh, I, I knew I should have stayed on the access road, but that's just a whole nother story. So tell me if you like this backdrop. It looks like a, a, a coffee shop. Uh, I, I kind of like it. Uh, I like the the kitchen one too that I I have. But let me know. Thank you for joining me today. And remember, coffee and friends make a perfect blend. And so thank you for stopping by and being my friend today, and watching this review. I appreciate it. Thank you, and have a great day, great morning, great afternoon, wherever you are. And we'll see you next time on Ken Ron's Coffee Break. Bye, everyone. See you next time.